Hello folks, welcome back. Wait a second. What shirt is this? What's this? Oh, wait a second. I'm wearing this shirt. I'll probably wear it tomorrow too. Because just like you saw in that thumbnail, this is a Daytona Beach Bum Fight Special. This is the Memorial Day Madness. Mayhem, mayhem, whatever. Yeah, Memorial Day Madness is pretty good. So that means one thing. It's a special holiday. Again, I wear my Stars and Stripes kitty shirt that my ex-girlfriend got me. Because God knows she was something stupid and sold all those t-shirts I got her. I think all those t-shirts that I got her cost like 10 times as much as this thing probably did. And I'll tell you what. I don't care. It's a gym shirt. No one sees it. I should try and talk my boss into see if I can just wear this like all day. I could wear like this, and, like jeans at work and be almost comfy. So if I'm a fat bastard, I need to lose 20 pounds somehow. But the best news is my gym opens up again on Tuesday. So I'll finally get to do that again. Good, because I need to lose weight. Because I thought I got fat until I saw my friend, but that's 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 a whole other issue. Um, so again, in this episode, there's a whole bunch going on. See the hate club. We'll see how they react to what happened to them. And also, we have Sonny Bimbo. Sonny Bimbo makes his in-ring appearance, and I have to put that down. He's earned a spot for the for the Labor Day the Labor Day massacre. Yep, Sonny Bimbo. He earned his shot for the, again, Labor Day Massacre, because that's in September. Because the next Daytona Beach Bum Fight League event is going to be the 4th of July. If nothing really happens in June. So I have to make a note of that. As he advanced. We'll do something with him July 4th, too. Because remember, for that match, it's going to be the two. We have the two Battle Royal go, going on. Um, Sonny Bimbo won his Battle Royal. He gets to face the winner of the next Battle Royal. So the next Battle Royal will be on July 4th, the Labor Day Massacre. He faces whoever wins that and gets a shot at the always underweight belt September, for the Havoc of Halloween. Wow. That's long-term booking, folks. I know what I'm doing as a wrestling promoter, I guess. So again, happy Memorial Day. Um, I do appreciate that what, what uh, the military does for us. I just wish they just kind of said, like, yes, thank you. Um, I, I've had interesting stories about dealing with members of the military. I'll tell you what. 80% of them really nice and just like say, like if you just say thank you to them, that's all they need. I think 5% truly don't care. They're like, yeah, whatever. Actually, I'll say no. I don't know. It's a weird thing. I'll, I'll say 50% really don't care. No, 40% really don't care. Forty-five percent. Like if you just say, "Hey, thanks," they're like, "Cool, whatever." But I'll tell you what, the thing I dread dealing with tomorrow, and I've had personal experience with this, is that fifteen percent of military people that say, "You know what? I was in the military. Give me everything." It, and it, you'd be surprised; it happens more frequently than you think. And as far as nurses go. I hate nurses anyway. I don't care. Just, just let me pass into the great beyond quietly. Because in the movie, the nurses are always cute. Whenever I've had nurses, they're not cute. And they tell me what to do and then just say you can't do stuff that I want to do. And that doesn't work. Because I'll tell you what, I have a bottle of 
I have a 200 bottle of scotch, which is waiting for my deathbed, unfortunately. Because I'm like, for $200, that's going to sit there, gather dust. Or if I meet some special woman, and I say, sir, we have to celebrate this. Because one, I would give him a 61. 61 is 40. Gee, almost 60 year old bottle of Canadian Crown Royal whiskey. And I say, sir, this is 200. You, this is a this is a 200 dollar bottle of scotch. Can can I just like take your daughter away from you? Probably he would say yes. Again, because I think well, I don't want to say anything about my job situation yet. If I pass that though, I don't know. Again, just for a while, I just wasn't prepared to be a, a father. I'm like, not, probably even now I'm not prepared to be a father, but I'm rambling on. But yeah, I, I think it's just nice to wake up to someone, though. I think that's the thing I miss the most is just, like, waking up to someone, to a woman, like, in bed. But that's a whole other issue. So, again, thank you, vets. I salute you. Which is probably doesn't mean much. Again, I'm wearing my patriotic cat shirt. So enjoy Memorial Day Madness! Bye! Hey people, get back to work! It's not a holiday. Oh wait, hello folks, as you can tell, the previous voice, that was the one, the only, that was Corporate Tom. And welcome to the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League Wrestling! Right now we have, this is Memorial Day Madness! Of course we have, Whenever we have these, of course, you always have to have Corporate Tom show up. Well, I don't know. I, I forgot to make Uncle Sam today. So, I honestly forget what wrestler I'm going to have him face. You disgusting people. We listen to him trash talk in the ring. Get back to work. The state's been opened again. Earn some jobs. Make money. Get off the streets and be productive. You trailer park crack house trash people. Oh wait, so who's he gonna face? Let's see here. Whoa! I thought he was dead. I guess that's that like eternal lie that wrestlers like like the fib is wrestlers retire and like rest, like wrestlers just don't die. I guess. Again, yeah, pretty appropriate for Memorial Day. We have the American Dream. Dusty Rhodes! Oh, wait, there is that sledgehammer he pulled out. Oh, what's going to happen? Where is this? Oh, oh, Dusty Rhodes got suplexed and hit squarely on the sledgehammer. You fat piece of shit, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. There we go, he's celebrating. Yeah, dude, if I got suplexed on the outside of the ring onto a sledgehammer, I'd be like dead. His back's all jacked up. Hopefully I never did that to Dusty Rhodes. 
through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. What? He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. He is a great athlete, but he's been doing it. You're an old man, Dusty. Uh oh. Oh, did I bust him open? Shoulder breaker. Nothing Rose is gonna bleed, baby. Oh! We're looking at complete domination here. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest. The American dream is being looked on, folks. It's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. See a weakness in your opponent, you gotta jump on it. Duff says he's used to that, he's used to being pile driven every so often. Oh no, we know what this is. Boom, and the stack pin. Oh, whoa. Dusty Rhodes, you so-called son of a plumber. Plumbers don't take dad's days off. Your dad is so disappointed in you for taking my morning day off. Get back to work. Tell your two lazy sons to get back to work too. All you people in Daytona Beach, Bumtona Beach, get back to work or you're all going to be fired. Whoa, what harsh words there by Corporate Tom. Supposed to be a celebration day, but I guess only only celebrating he does is at work, I guess. Fight League debut in a six man battle royale in order to determine. Actually, we're gonna have a tournament, I think. So, the winner of this match is gonna face the winner of. Because the next thing is 4th of July. So, I actually do have to remember who wins this match. I'll write this down, but whoever wins this match, dude, he looks comfy. I don't know though. He's a married man. He has some he has some some hotties hooting and hollering. I think one of those women actually took off their bra for some reason. I don't know why they would do that, but this is Daytona Beach. Let's see who else is on this card. Oh, we saw him in Cinco Mania. Again, you can see in the background, squarely the police are like, why are these people gathered here? The state's open, but we're not supposed to have any gathering. Cop, cops don't know what to do. They're like, okay, we'll just sit here and make sure nothing is out of control. No bodily fluids are passed from one human being to another via natural means or artificial ways. Although, although those women have to take a seat, and and I, I think I think Taco Supremo Jr. was invading their personal space a little bit. He's not practicing good social distancing, which is something some people actually still have to learn. But that's okay. 
So who's gonna be next in this battle royale? I like the fact that he wrestles in flip flops too. That's that was one of those like unique features. Wait a second! He actually sat out his his 14 day self quarantine and left his, his country of Wales, England to actually come here in Daytona Beach. It's the one, the only Pump Slicks from Newcastle upon Tyne. I made him look pretty good though. I'll give me that much. Comes down and says, Yep, I'm here, folks. I've served my quarantine. Cops are staring. Cops are staring at me funny. So I so talk differently. So, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll get, get, I'll get my way into the ring right now. And I'm psyching myself up, representing from people across the pond. I just, I, I guess he just had to get out of there. They've been in quarantine like even worse than we've been here in Florida. But Florida man, Florida men don't care. Maybe a hurricane. We're out there surfing. We're driving jet skis down the flooded road. Florida, as I like to call it sometimes. Again, unfortunately, I'm like part Michigan man. I'm becoming part Florida man now. Wait, who's this? El Tronco! We haven't seen El Tronco in so long. El Tronco only comes out on like drunk holidays. Well, I guess most people do nothing but drink on Memorial Day. But that's a whole other issue. He, like, El Tronco, the ring's that way. There you go. He's a little too happy to be here. He's like, yeah, I'm back, folks. I'm back. I wonder if, like, so... It's like, like, how come these bars are all late? Yeah, I just came from a bar. I'm sorry. This is Daytona Beach. Even the women. But the women are like, oh, El Tronco. Take me! Jeez. Old drunk is back. The police had to make sure his escort was here. Heaven forbid. He had to drive that AATV home. Posing, he's trying to figure out the, the, what, where the ring, ring, how the ring's set up. That's pretty cool. Who's next? Who's next? Hmm? Yeah. Jay is back, baby! Jay the Great Team. Jay Tay is back. Jay Tay is back. Jay Tay is back. Jay Tay is back. Jay Tay is, is, is back. Look at him, he's like too cool to be here. It's like, yep. I want a shot at my title. Title that. That spray in the face for it. With the green coronavirus mist. That dirty Dan Blaze. A dirty person in the crowd. He just came from some like crack house or something. He came from some meth lab here in Florida. Probably in Holly Hill of all places. God, what a, what a disgusting. You know, coronavirus and that crowd is the least of their worries. I definitely wouldn't want to sit down on any of those chairs out after those people have been there. Oh, the fireworks. That's at least looks cool. I think there's one more participant. Oh, one of the originals in the always underweight competition. It's the one. Whoa. I don't think that, that's a safe for TV color. It's Taj. Well, I haven't used him in a while, too.
She's I need an excuse. Where did this explosion of offense come from? Uh oh. Three eliminations. He's making his presence felt in this match. Oh my, what a move! <laughs> So I'm the old guy here, I know exactly the wall. Not today, too fast. There may be no stopping him. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. He's in big trouble. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, he's coming back in. He's got him. Oh, this may very well end it. Buckle bomb! Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah. You're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. That freeze may give him a go. Oh, look at this. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, this spells trouble right here. There's no coming back from that. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. Oh, wait. Nice reverse. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Oh, he missed. Oh, -oh. nobody home that time. Not this. He's looking at it again. That's it. He's done. Oh, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, look at this. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He may very well be running on instinct right now. But no matter what we say outside the ring, it doesn't matter as much as what happens inside that ring. Cole, what's he got in mind? He 
each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. transpired this far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Cole. This has been an all-out war. Why is the guy that's opponent? What's he going for here? Oh, he missed. Oh, oh nobody hold that time. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Watch out here. Oh, look at the emotion. He's making a statement here with his attack. Fuck little bomb again, is this? Yeah, that's good too. It's all over but the shouting. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying it. Nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Uh-oh. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Boom, sucker, Lasha. It's over. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Oh, yes! Yes! The winner advancing! It's gonna be. I have to write this down. Advancing for potentially the Labor Day Massacre. The like, QS one is gonna be. Actually, I gotta take a break. It's gonna be. Sonny Bumba wins! It's an inaugural debut! Man, what a contest. We definitely just witnessed one for the ages. I'll remember that one for a long time. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't think the average viewer at home understands exactly how much it... So what's next, folks? Wait a second. Look at them. God damn. Get out of my way. Whoa. From the crowd. Probably formerly of police custody there. They hate Klopp. And the team of Bobo Tom and Diamondback Jack Maverick. Look at that prison tattoo. That, that, that street tattoo, God knows what chemicals was used for that. The hate club! What are they taking on? Whoa! The Revival have left WWE to come to the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. That's a couple steps on for those two guys. Geez, you can tell the age of this game. The revival's back. Then. I have a feeling this tag team match is going to be one for the record books. It doesn't get much more exciting than these teams set to square off here tonight. Say so, yeah. Well, they won in no no flips, just fifths. I have a feeling they're gonna get it.
matchup between these four incredible superstars. There's been no shortage of build-up for this one, and it looks like it's going to live up to the height. Oh, the shatter machine already! Oh! Oh wow, Bobo Tom is getting beat up. Shatter Machine a second time. Oh my goodness. Is this a third Shatter Machine? Bobo Tom is getting whooped on folks. Trying to kill Hobo Tom. Really? Say yeah. There's the man. And he escapes with a kick out. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. Wow. What a display of heart and determination. Oh, well, this will bring yeah, everybody to their feet. The tag is made. Am I like infinite loop here or something? Oh, one of the most effective moves in all well, of the game. That's like the hot tag. Oh, cool. The hot tag. Oh. 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 Busted open? There's no escaping this. He made it. He made it to the ropes. And there's the reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Great reversal. Not today. Too fast. First loss. Oh, there were some that was a shock. Highlights. Watch this. Oh, I think there's gonna be some, some some retaliation coming here soon. I don't know. They don't take kindly to losses. I think we're gonna have to have a rematch eventually next. A hobo death match style rematch with a revival. That was actually pretty good. She is, folks. Kimberly. I guess she got tired of being an impact. It's, it's like they showed her once and like she's like disappeared somewhere. She's been nice. That's terrible. I wonder where she's going like, to retire and have kids. The Princess Kimberly comes out. 
She's my princess. I actually made her appear good. I'm kind of shocked about that. I don't normally pat myself on the back too often. But I did a good job there. Actually, I did a better job creating this 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 amazing woman right now. But here she comes, and somehow she takes her bra off. We haven't seen her without that belt in a while. She looks reinvigorated. I guess she's happy to be out of Jacksonville. She's back here, where she should be in Daytona Beach, Florida. And some lucky audience member is just going to get a sweaty bra as a souvenir because for some reason, I still don't know how she does it, but she somehow takes that bra off. Like, turning, like, in her entrance. Without taking anything else off. I've already bought mine. We've seen some huge press defenses in recent years, and I'd say this one ranks right Again, this is a normal match because there's always a champion dictates. Normally, if it was uh, Twisted Pixies, it would be a twisted pixie, it would be a twisted Jacksonville match. But this is a normal wrestling match, folks. Nothing special going on here. We've had the one gimmick match, the ladder match, so we'll see what happens. Oh, that's right. Look at that. The belt! Oh, look at that belt go up there. I always forget that for some reason. I made her good. She almost looked. Very classic wrestling. Like I've been bad at this game. What a championship match we've got on our hands. Well, I don't know about you guys, but with a championship title on the line, I'm going to have a hard time. Oh! The, the, the twist! She can do no wrong the pixelator out of nowhere! Oh, whoa! She counters that somehow. That was pretty cool. Oh, that jumping headbutt. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. God, that was like a haymaker. Like she was taking that big home run swing. Whoa, she's full of reversals today. With this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things uh -oh. are going in there, I'd say not uh -oh. much longer. Oh, 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 wait, there's no flaming table spot, though. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we see a flaming table spot. You never know. Oh! All the way to the outside! Princess Kimberly could be dead. This is awesome! Oh, drop the headbutt for none there. Shoves her up the ramp. Oh! Spinning neckbreaker! On the corrugated. Oh, just like Pixie's getting beat up a little bit on the outside there. A recycled parquet floor. We and the rest of the WWE world are in for a night to remember. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, the job buster. Now she tries to turn. Oh, the job. Well, that was a wild strike. Oh, my fight you in here. Back out there. You platinum. Paired bimbo. Whoa, did I say that? I'm sorry, folks. I should never speak that way about Princess Kimberly. Now that's let's go, Twisted Pixie. Get out. Yeah. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. Well, I don't think at this point that we can count even oh, one out. Drop the yet. big we'll headbutt on her. But regardless, this is just another in a long line of awesome WWE sports entertainment. What's that? Oh, Santa over! Oh, she looked like it hurt. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Yeah, inside the ring, outside the ring, the action's everywhere. She's in big trouble. I don't know how much longer she'll be able to go. Oh wait. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I could get away with doing that. In theory, she did send me into that. Oh, the arm breaker on the outside. Ouch. 
Bitch. Stomp on the arm. Stomp on the arm again. Stomp. Bonk. I can tell you these demons have been looking forward to this match for a long time. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, wait a second. Counter set into a belly buster. We're looking at complete domination here. Where are our signatures? Oh, just Tino! Oh, wait. No, that's not. Oh, punk. 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 Oh, crushing your temples. What are you doing? Who did she have that from? Stomp on the foot. Coming back to the outside, I think. Oh, perfect time for a funny thing. I'm gonna pop something. That's not good. Through the bicycle racks. Oh, right to the back of the head. Regains her championship belt. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, did it stop? No, it's lost the money. Two more matches. This is awesome.
Whoa. Poor Mr. Brody Lee, he looks like he's like, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, Ray Wyatt, get, get out of here. Since his debut in WWE, Eric Rowan has a reputation as one of the most intimidating individuals you can face. Whether it's in oh, wait a second, who is the man? Rowan's on his own. This madman just manhandles his opponent. You know, go on talk about Eric Rowan and what he's done since coming into WWE and with the rest of the time. It's bonk. scary. Eric Rowan sees someone and just crushes him. That's it. Limp from that's it. He's done. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one? You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. With a 180, Eric Rowan, the reverse. Wait a second. Plus, I'm his manager. He makes the tag. Oh, crazy double team tandem work. Looking good so far. Not much damage in any. Oh, Bray Wyatt goes up to the airplane right, baby. Last flight from Cuba. Bonk. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Big knee drop. Oh. Again, big knee drop. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas.
Oh, what kind of ugly method woman was that? What? Wait a second. That's Blue Demon Jr. Wait a second, we have an invasion from AAA. Even they're so upset that they can't have fans. They're tired of wrestling at the arena. So here we have Blue Demon Jr. You can tell because he has a demon on his back. He wears a blood mask and all blue. Only, only one person that could be. Remember, he defeated Broken Tom. And a weird hat and a weird luchador mask. Broken Tom was very upset about that. Who's he facing? This is a steel cage match. That's not Broken Tom's music. Hey, it's me, Dr. Wagner Jr. Oh my goodness! It is Dr. Wagner Jr. He's come out to claim. But wait, he's wearing his luchador mask. He can't be wearing that. That's against all lucha rules. What's up with this? I mean, he looks so... He looks amazing. I actually made him look almost exactly like Dr. Wagner Jr. It's pretty scary. Oh, yeah, he shows up all prim and proper. Blue Demon, very classic wrestling trunks. Whoa! We gotta bring those from Mexico, because God knows we can't for those here in Daytona Beach. Introducing the challenger from parts unknown, weighing in at Dr. Dr. Wagner Jr. Look at him. He's all gnarled, all scarred. Dude, he has scars on him. Oh. Why did I make both of them from parts I know? Now we him with Jack. Look at those eyes. The champion is no plans on relinquishing the gold tonight. He may be surprised when his moment to wait for Blue Demon Jr. Wow. So under the bridge title too. There's Tasha. Why are they wrestling here? I guess I don't know. They couldn't wrestle in Mexico. This is a class. Oh wait, that's why. Big DDT. That can't be it. That suck. Wait a second. How is this pile of garbage? Get over here. We're two old men fighting in the ring. Boom. Arm breaker. Guys, let's briefly discuss the challenger. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. Big knee. Right to the head. Nice dodge there. Oh, send that steel blue cage. Regard for his safety. I'm not so sure he even knows where he is. He's in a world of trouble. 
much more of this, and I doubt he'll be able to continue. And hey, I still can't believe they pay me for this. Strong. Kicks him right in the skull. Chokes the life out of Blue Demon Jr. These two just don't like each other, I guess. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go to WWE.com all the time to catch up on the Divas. This is very simply become a neck breaking competition. He fails to connect with anything that time. Remember, that championship belt's on the outside. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Great counter avoids the impact there. Challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He goes for the quick pin, and he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh nobody home that time. Columbus has become known for being an extremely what amazing chain wrestling is. This one is no different. The mission hole locked in, and he's in big trouble. There's no escaping this. Not today, too fast. Hey, he's going for it again. I'll be shocked if that's not it. He 
is really tired now. That tank of his has to be really empty. It has to be, Tank. But I still don't see him giving up. And that escapement tip cost him. Here he goes. He sees it. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. It's just a matter of time now. So they're down. Chip and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Oh, there is no quit in this man tonight. Can you believe the endurance of this guy? Can you believe what he's been doing here tonight? He's in full-on attack mode now. Submission hole locked in, and he's in big trouble. Wow, that was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. He's still down after that. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. No kidding. What a matchup. This has been a classic. Oh! And he managed to escape. Oh, the belt's on the outside. Oh, my. We have a new champion. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Let's look back at everything that happened. That was actually pretty good. Doctor Wagner Jr. Each and every week, what a match! What a match that was! Oh, yes, he is. He's for old. Us. And it's finally go time. Let's do this. Well, I can assure you that nobody in that chamber. Get over here! And in that Fuck the revival. So I think they're going to have a rematch probably for the 4th of July celebration show. But we shall see what happens though between those two. You never tell with the hate club. There's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly... I want my belt back. I'm going to break you for it, old man. But now it's time to get down to business. I don't know about you, but I've really been looking forward to this. And you know, it's just amazing to me that this is just another night in the WWE. Always memorable. Quick thinking to avoid that. I don't. Oh my 
Oh! Oh! He threw him through the glass. Tom Von Brady. I want my belt, old man. Next time. And that's it, folks. Thank you for watching another Daytona Beach Bump Fight League wrestling special. Please continue your ongoing support. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone for the next probably 4th of July matches. Take care, everyone. Bye.